Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 22nd of 2022. Well, it is titled the full moon and the dancer. So what do we see here? Well, a couple of different things. Uh, first of all, we do see our moon and the what is apparently the full moon off in the distance here. And this was taken in the evening as the full moon was rising, which means that on the opposite horizon behind the photographer, the sun would have just recently set. So the full moon and the sun will always be opposite to each other in the sky, one rising as the other sets. Now, we see on the sun various patterns of light and dark. We see some darker regions that are present, and those are the Maria. Those are darker, slightly younger regions in the lighter colored regions, which are the highlands. The highlands are more heavily cratered and date back in many places to the origin of the moon four and a half billion years ago. The Maria are a little bit younger and maybe three and a half billion years. So all of the moon is incredibly old compared to Earth's surface. However, there is a variation between those two areas. And many people see patterns in the moon. So we talk about the man in the moon or sometimes the moon rabbit depending on how you look at the patterns there. And if you go to the website and look at the description, there are a couple places where you can click on that. If you're not seeing those, you can click on to see how they're highlighted there. And that is one of the things that happens when our minds try to put pattern into random randomness. So honestly, the patterns on the moon are completely random. They're just the way the moon happened to form and the way the Maria happened to form later and fill in some of the lower lying regions of the moon. However, our minds don't like things that are random patterns. So they try to put some kind of pattern to that. And when there's some vague resemblance, our mind will try to convince us that there is a pattern here. And we see similar things with things like the face on Mars, where low resolution photos show uh, that there's looks what looks to be a face. Whereas when you look at high resolution images taken of the same area, there is definitely no such face. Now another one of these shown in the image is the starlings that are flocking here. And you may begin to see a pattern of perhaps a dancer there uh, out in the distance, which is again really just a random pattern as the birds are flocking through the sky. So again, our minds just really don't like that randomness and try to put any kind of pattern that we can see, we can think of to that. And sometimes you don't see it at first. And if somebody else points it out, it then makes it much easier to see. So it's an idea that you can actually find this pattern uh, when you're looking at really just a random collection of material. So that was our picture of the day for January 22nd of 2022. It was titled The Full Moon and the Dancer. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be moons, rings, and shadows. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.